this is Maud again. Today I want to take you along in making some more of these lanterns. I've made a few in the meantime and um, also crafted with one that I made earlier on camera and uh, well you can see here that I, <laughs> I took it apart because um, I love it so much I want to keep it for longer and the best way to keep it for me is in a journal and I wanted to show you that I've worked in my lantern journal let me just put the lights on <laughs> now the lights are on and uh, well I put it well somewhere where you can't see it but I can see it in front of me and I'm taking the watercolor paper out and this one and then I can work in them I want to glue this one in here so these are the things that I'm working in at the moment um, I'm working on paper lanterns but also I am journaling almost every day I can say every day and what I do is I do some drawings this one was inspired by Christine Mylin I found I follow her on Pinterest and at the moment I am not very good at making drawings myself so I I take my inspiration from other people that are really good and that I love and uh, well I've colored it in with watercolor pencils well I done this one you saw that one on um, Instagram already and I've done one because I was rather mad <laughs> it says both and uh, yeah I was angry at something and uh, well I needed to let it out I've made a new planner um, I went to my favorite shop Saturday and I bought this expensive but beautiful paper by Galen Leather and um, well I started a planner for December and I was inspired by Barbara hello sweetie <laughs> Barbara on 49 dragonflies and she made an altered book and she did a uh, bullet journal and I thought well I don't want an altered book I I love my uh, TNs but I can I can do a TN myself on blank paper and um, so I started this one for December it is not decorated at all at the moment I need to decorate it and uh, well that will give me joy well I did this <laughs> obviously and I made a pocket because well um, like Barbara did I want to do a um, thank you to November well this was made in November and I can put a little note behind it and um, on this page I want to do a decoration for December uh, my monthly overview well there are a few festive activities I don't have anything planned yet for December and my to do and goals well, I like to keep them private, so <laughs> I will do that off camera. So this will be my planner. And, um, well, I keep it in here in my TN. Um, this was the one for uh, November. This is not decorated yet, but most of the time I decorate the the left page that is my yeah the thing I like best because then I can can keep writing on the right without any interference from bulky things so this is the planner that I take with me um, so I did this as a junk journal that's going into um, this part and um, I did not do much yet 
but it's uh, well this was a, a drawing that I put in there originally from a book I showed you this one already and I can put some paper behind it for the rest I did not do anything in this yet and um, I know that Barbara is going to do a December daily and I would like to um, follow her along in that December daily and work in this one on a daily basis and um, I think I want this one here um, sometimes I like to work just like I do here uh, randomly like working here working here and sometimes I like to work chronologically and this one comes off so I have to glue that one again but um, yeah this is going to be my December daily journal I don't know if I've got enough pages yet but we'll see <laughs> and otherwise I can always add some pages because I can always put some pages over this one and well I have here the start of a new little lantern uh, so this is just some Stamperia designer paper I did this lantern and uh, well this one is um, napkin that I glued over some old sheet music and I've got one left so I had a really big piece I had a lot of this that I got in a happy mail and um, what I did here you can see it in the inside I glued the napkin also on vellum and I'm going to show you how I did that I have this one uh, left and um, well it won't be very see-through but um, it will be really nice once I put a light behind it so I will do that on camera show you how I glue the napkin onto the vellum and I did these two um, this is a little lantern that I made last week and I've sent some lanterns off already so um, <laughs> my lanterns um, are getting less and um, well I'm sending them to friends and uh, giving them out here in the in my village and this one is going to a friend of mine who landed me some stamps and uh, I thought well I want to make a a small kind of happy mail also for her so I did this as a front just some Tim Holtz paper you know the one um, the, those papers that are um, just these small things and I I make little booklets out of them I put a tiny envelope on here and um, glued some small bits together and it says thank you in here and I've just put a, together a small junk journal for her she's a paper crafter too so she will probably like this and I thought well you can use the lantern as a lantern but you can also put it around your happy mail like this and put a little string on here and I've got these lovely paper clips I got them from Hema in the Netherlands I get asked sometimes where I get my um, dyes and everything well I am sorry to say that most of the things I buy locally and I never keep packaging so sometimes I can't tell you where I got something um, I'm not well I am <laughs> organized um, but I always take these things out of their packaging and um, keep them in other ways so I cannot tell you where I got this die because well um, I know where I got this one it was as a, at a fair 
here in the Netherlands, but I don't remember the shop's name or the designer name. I'm sorry. And I also made this one. Um, this can also be sent as a happy mail. This is one of my lanterns, one of my bigger lanterns. Uh, so the the one the person who receives it can use this as a lantern or take it apart like I did my big lantern or just use it like this and um, well I did not put a string on this one yet I want to embellish it a little more but this is also a small notebook junk journal notebook that I did and this is going to another friend of mine as a happy mail and so you see you can use the lanterns as lanterns or you can um, yeah <laughs> change them into happy mail uh, change them into things that you use in your junk journal I mean I love this as a page and I will probably make a uh, keep this side open so that well I can glue it now <laughs> Why not glue it now, right away? I have to glue this side. <laughs> if I don't do it right, please tell me. Another small bead of glue. Thank you so much to everybody who made all the really really nice comments on my last video uh, i was overwhelmed with all your nice comments and um well <laughs> that is why i i love making more videos um i i love reading your comments i i i'm really thankful And now I go quiet. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> so I love this here. And so this is a, a, a tuck spot, a pocket. And I can put a note in there. And I have to glue this one again. I think the glue does not stay on very well. Because I use the... Um, the gilding wax and it is waxy and and oily so therefore it probably um, does not help with um, staying stuck oh, this is a fiddly job probably have to do this again and again If it doesn't stay on, I could maybe, maybe, maybe use my tiny attacher. Yes, it can go that far. And I want a little glue here also. A little. <laughs> this is a lot. <laughs> Yeah, wax on vellum, that is a combination that will not be very sticky, but I'll keep trying. <laughs> um, yeah, let's put these aside and start with making another one of these. So I promised you I would show you how I would put the napkin on the vellum. And this is in front of me, so I can look at it. <laughs> it will be a difficult job if I want to glue this piece on right away on this big piece of vellum um, I would probably have a really hard time because this will start to 
to curl and, and go all, all places. But I need my glue book. What I did for this one is I'm folding the vellum because I'm too lazy to measure. But I made four parts of the vellum. Four smaller parts because this way it is much easier to work with and it will curl. It, there's nothing you can do about it. I, I use my Pritt stick and uh, well that glue is rather dry. That is the best thing to do but it will curl anyway. But that's why I keep my box of pens to, uh, with me and uh, well the surface of this board is really smooth so I can when they curl up I put them underneath this box and uh, keep them there for half an hour and then they are flat again. This is the back side of the napkin. Decoupage, that was the word I was looking for. I want to decoupage the napkin onto the vellum. It's, it does not curl immediately, so you've got some time. And now I want to put it onto the napkin. And it starts curling already. And some of the, oh, even some of the glue has gone through the napkin because while well, this is so thin, I am cutting this out because if I want to put another piece of vellum onto this napkin, um, well, this is starting to curl more and more and more, and then um, I won't be able to glue the next onto the vellum. I'll probably just leave it curling for now and um, let it dry a bit because if I if I put it underneath my box now and there's um, glue coming uh, through this napkin then probably it will stick to my box because the, well this is also paper so I'm just putting it aside and letting let letting it curl for a moment I'll do the next one <laughs> hey Barbara, Barbara, vellum is a diva, right? <laughs> but it's so nice to work with, I think. What shall we call her? <laughs> Have you got a name for this diva, this vellum diva? Maybe we should call her a name. And... Um, Every time she doesn't behave, we could say, hey, listen, behave. You see it curling again. Well, you've got the idea now, so I will do the other two off camera. And um, if you think this is too messy, you don't like this, um, probably you can also buy vellum 
decorated vellum. This is from uh, the Dutch store Action. And um, I've got these sheets left and they are really nice. I used this one on my friend's um, lantern and it it's really, I do um, ink these because I think the colors are a little too bright. And I was at um, Sostrene Grene the other day. Uh, we've This is a Danish shop. We also have this in the Netherlands. And they had these sheets, these vellum sheets. Um, I think these are from last year. But they would also be perfect for the lanterns. And I've also got some really thin papers here. Uh, these come from um, the Paper Lovers book. Uh, what is the brand called? Well, <laughs> they are international and they are Dutch. And um, I, I, when I put the camera off, I will flow. These come from a flow magazine. Um, these are really nice and thin papers and um, I could use these also in lanterns. And if you've got old photo books, there's this uh, spiderweb paper in there. And these would also make really beautiful windows for lanterns. So you could also use these. And, well, I'm going to put the camera off for a moment and uh, do these and cut windows inside here together with you because well a lot of uh, a few of you said they don't have dies but we could also use um, a metal ruler and a um, craft knife to to make windows in here so i'll be back so what i did is um, use this border punch to punch out the the top part of this lantern. Um, these are almost dry and now I want to um, make some windows in this one and for that <laughs> I'm doing something that I think works. I am just using my pencil to mark where the creases are so I can see them really well and um, well this one this ruler is in centimeters if you've got one in inches it works the same I think let me get a craft knife I need my windows to be smaller than this. Well, the width is obviously uh, quite big, so I won't I won't need to measure the uh, the width. But the height is important in this case. Um, <laughs> my thinking cap on. <laughs> Do I want big windows? Do I want small windows? I want them rather rather big but they need to be smaller than this so if I put my ruler on like this then this will be the bottom of the windows and I want the top part to be not bigger than not higher than this yeah so this gives me um, how much like half a centimeter on the top and on the bottom to to glue the vellum on and now how wide do we want the windows well um, obviously this is really flimsy 
and well this is not very flimsy but I need the borders of the window to be about this would be nice if it would be a half Mm -hmm. Shall I just eyeball this? <laughs> One and a half of these cubes. Yeah, that would be nice. So on the other side also. I am not a very um, measuring kind of crafter. I eyeball things most of the time. But I th it works out for me. So <laughs> if it doesn't for you, then, then measure, measure everything. But if you are like me and you're okay with windows not being exactly the same all the time, if you don't mind them being a little wonky, then this is working perfectly. these blocks <laughs> all the lines on the music paper are making me a little bit dizzy <laughs> oh, what line is where but I do like this ruler um, it is see-through so and now on this side the last one So if you don't have a die cutting machine, this is, oh, let me get my, you're supposed to be able to, to, to use your craft knife on this glass, but I already have got some really strong indentations of the knife here. So I'm using a little craft mat underneath, if I think about it. You could also, I will do the next one with scissors, show you how you can do that. Because that's also an option. And of course I keep these, I can always use these in my journal. Um, so this is the window, of course I want to ink it, it gives it some more definition if you ink it. do the next one with scissors just make a cut in the middle and then I like to do it this way cut on until a corner
thinking of something. If you don't have a um, punch like this, but you want this look, you could also use a piece of, um, you know, the crocheted lace that I use in my journals, the um, crocheted lace like this. If you glue that on top, it would also look really nice. So this one is done with scissors. And um, the next one I'm going to do with my craft knife again. It's not quicker, I just prefer this method. <laughs> to find the line between the... Oh, I'm not cutting it all the way. I have to start here. That's um, a better part of using your knife is that you keep these for um, yeah journal embellishments. And this one, well, I could repair it obviously, but um, with the scissors you, well, you cut into them. So maybe that is why I like using this knife. This was... Just a hobby knife, nothing fancy. I think I got this one from Action again. Um, yeah, I also, I do buy new blades because they go blunt very quickly if you use paper. So I'm changing the blades every week, I think. So, inking this one up again. This would also make a really nice Christmassy um, lantern. I will think of some Christmassy embellishments that we can glue on here. <laughs> um, in my mind I'm going through my craft room uh, now let me see what side do I want this side or this side I think I like this side better. And if you don't agree with me, <laughs> oh, that's perfectly fine. Um, does this need any measuring? No. I'm just going to tear. Perhaps it is better to use my craft knife again because, well, these edges are not really nice.
and I'm not doing a very good job. <laughs> and I saw that it measured just until the squares. So that is okay. I could use these little strips again, so they're not going in my bin, they're going into my cigar box of little papers. just going to glue these in here the same thing I did last time glue this first all the way and then um, glue them in and I'm going to go through my Christmas box and find some embellishments to put on here so we can make a Christmassy lantern I will be back so I took out my Christmas box with Christmas stamps and all kinds of things and um, I found these stamps also from Action. I remember when I buy something in Action and I thought I would do a little experiment with you here on camera because I want to do some embossing here. <laughs> Let me see how this works out. <laughs> let's be brave. Let just let's just do this here. Just a white paper. I don't have any here. Ah. <laughs> I'm not very well organized. Oh, I can use this one. Well, you can't see anything really yet, but um, okay. Ears closed, we are going to use the heat gun and see how it works. This is either going to be really nice So my experiment worked out. Um, yes, I'm not going to <laughs> do all of these on camera because then you would really hate me, I think, with all the noise. But I did get some of the crocheted lace out and see, this would also be really nice if you put some crocheted lace on here. Well, I'm going to do the rest of these windows, um, embossing them. And um, then we'll be back to uh, then I will be back to do some final touch-ups for this lantern. So I have, <coughs> excuse me, I have embossed the whole thing and it warps a little bit. 
So before I'm going to glue it up, probably leave it underneath a, a really big book for a night or so. And um, I don't know if the camera picks this up, but it, it looks really nice. I think, well, there is a lot of daylight now, but if I put a little light behind it. Because obviously there won't be any light go coming through these dark patches, but um, in between the, the flowers it will be really nice. So the lantern that I made today is drying underneath a book and um, well, these are the lanterns that I still have in my home and um, that I don't have a, well, I don't know where I'm going to send these ones yet. These ones, I know where they're going to go. <laughs> I'm not telling you. Um, let me know down below in the comments what you would like to see me do next. What uh, I've got some ideas of doing more lanterns. And I've got a collaboration coming up with Maureen, the lovely Maureen from Maureen Astrid. Hello, sweetie. And um, let me know what you want to see me do next. Do you want to see me um, cut these apart and use them in my journal? I also thought of showing you how I did this drawing, uh, kind of drawing like this. Um, I would love to do more journaling videos. I would love to continue with making lanterns and journal with them, using them in my journal. So if you would be so kind, please leave me a comment. I read every one of them and I enjoy reading your comments so much. Thank you for being here and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.